All right, so, uh, so what Veros does, or the problem that it solves, is uh, all these brands, they're very data-driven, but you only have access to your own data. So uh, you can know, you know your customer acquisition cost, your conversion rates, uh, but you don't know how that compares to others. And if there's a spike, like let's say there's a spike in CPM or a drop in revenue, what's it do to you or the market? That data is inherently private, so what we do is everyone feeds us data, we aggregate, we anonymize that data, and then we show it back to you. So it's like one big uh, data co-op. Um, we work with e-commerce and SaaS companies. We now uh, have 4,200 companies uh, that are sharing data with us with uh, 4 billion of annual ad spend tracked and 15 billion of revenue, uh, which is where the data that I'm gonna show you uh, comes in. And the product that we offer is basically just, you can cut to exactly companies like yours. You can see the real-time benchmarks uh, and the market trends in, in a SaaS platform. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through a bunch of data of what we're seeing uh, in the market and hopefully you guys can, can glean some, some insights out of it. So MER, marketing efficiency ratio, uh, the way we calculate it uh, is revenue from Shopify divided by ad spend um, from Meta, from Google, and from TikTok, because that's what we track. Um, so it's starting, uh, we started in, uh, the, in 2021, um, and we see over time, uh, it's unfortunately going down uh, into 2023. And then this is year over year change on the right side. Um, so we're actually seeing in the past couple of years just big, big declines uh, in MER across the board. Um, and then we're gonna dive in to see where that's coming from. So, oh, but yeah, so, so revenue is actually up, uh, which is interesting, like revenue on Shopify uh, is up 12% in the past year versus the year uh, before then, but costs have just also gone up. So here we show LTV to CAC uh, is down 11%. Uh, we could have picked other types of metrics, um, but unfortunately, so top line is going up, but that uh, the margins are becoming uh, less efficient. So uh, after iOS 14, obviously uh, the ad channels had big hits. Um, we can see, you know, this is sort of before iOS 14, we can see the cost per purchase being a lot lower. Um, and then there's just been a big increase, um, you know, basically late 2021 into middle uh, 2022. Um, and then starting in August, of 2022, we actually start seeing Meta um, getting a lot more efficient. Like you can see that here, that this is year over year change for cost per purchase. And so it's actually going down um, a lot. It hasn't gone back to the iOS 14 levels, um, but recently it's become a lot more efficient. So if you've you know, sort of stopped spending there, reduced uh, spend, uh, it's a good time to, to go back into it uh, because it's, it's at a lower cost than it usually is. Google is a little bit of a different story. Uh, Google seemed to not have been, it was still hit uh, by iOS 14, but it wasn't hit uh, as much as Meta. Um, and in 2023, it's just had a tough year um, in terms of efficiency. So you can see that uh, on the right side there of the year-over-year -year growth rates. Um, but basically, you know, recently it's become a lot more expensive, uh, which tells our advertisers they should shift more dollars uh, into Meta in this period until Google comes back down to normal levels. Um, and then this is total spend uh, that we track, year-over-year um, -year change on Meta and Google. Uh, and it's actually pretty interesting, like, it it tracks directly to uh, a lower cost per purchase. So as I said, you know, Meta went up, uh, improved a bunch, uh, and then spend has really increased there, where people have been, um, the, the growth rate on Google has slowed and slowed uh, this year because the KPIs aren't uh, as attractive. Um, so you know, they're, out of the ones we track, they're sort of listening to these recommendations uh, and putting more into Meta. Uh, and this is just a note, so the fact that MER is going down uh, means that you need other uh, channels to acquire customers that aren't just uh, the ad platforms. So you gotta assume that these trends uh, will continue and we don't know where, where it'll flatten out. Um, so we're seeing 
our advertisers, lots and lots, are pushing uh, to not just uh, the meta Google and TikTok. Um, and it's relevant for this topic that you know people are exploring more uh, retail. Uh, they're getting more into email uh, and SMS uh, as well. Um, so the ad channels are, are obviously still critical, um, and you should still be putting uh, a good amount of spend uh, towards it. But the fact that the costs are becoming less efficient means that you need to be doing a lot of work uh, in terms of retention. And so we're seeing a lot of focus being shifted uh, to there. So we, we track like, I think, 400 categories or something. Uh, so I just pulled out big ones. But if you go to the Vero's product, you can see you know, things like eco-friendly soap and stuff like that. So it's very specific. But here I just took beauty, baby. Uh, fashion, food and bev, wellness, pets, and sports. So um, in, uh, in 2022, or yeah, in 2023 versus 2022, uh, basically everything has gotten more efficient across the channels except for pets, um, which has become more expensive on Meta uh, and less expensive on Google. Um, and then on Google, it's sort of a mixed bag um, but mostly things have become more expensive. Um, and the, the spend sort of goes along with it. So people are increasing spend uh, along Meta. Um, and Google is mixed. You know, in some categories, like fashion, spend has increased significantly, 35%. Um, but for the most part, it's, it, the, the, there's no clear uh, trend there. But whatever category that, that you guys are in, uh, just take these numbers into account. OK, some other data that I thought was cool or interesting. Um, Instagram Reels has been growing very fast. So uh, it actually doubled this year to 8% of uh, total spend on Meta, uh, down, uh, up from 4%. Um, and that is taking uh, basically the spend uh, just from the normal feed. So people are investing uh, more and more into Instagram Reels. And if you guys aren't. Uh, testing that out, then you should start as it's a it's a very growing channel, and usually early on, it's it's where the most efficiency is, so it's it's a good time to do that. Uh, Advantage Plus, which is Meta's uh, new AI uh, targeting system, um, so you know instead of uh, you putting in exactly who you want to target, uh, you let Meta go do that for you. Uh, they released it late 2022, and it's got absolutely rapid adoption. So out of what we're tracking, uh, it's nearly already 30% of the total spend that's going into it um, within a few months. Uh, and we don't see that stopping anytime soon. Um, and in terms of a return on ad spend uh, and cost per purchase, it's a lot more efficient than the normal meta uh, channels. So uh, we, we, we see that this is a trend that we're going to keep tracking. but uh, it's something that people are adopting uh, rapidly. Um, and then this is how uh, spend has shifted between uh, the, the specific uh, ad channels, um, between Blues 2022 and Blues 2020, uh, and Orange is 2023. So uh, very similar on Facebook pro uh, prospecting. Google Performance Max has had a massive uh, increase uh, up to around 15% of total spend uh, from advertisers, where it was at uh, like 3% uh, last year. Um, search is down a little bit. Facebook retargeting is down a little bit. TikTok is up. We see TikTok grow uh, every month. Uh, we expect it to get to 10% you know, plus uh, next year. And then Google Shopping is down a bunch. Uh, Pmax really uh, took that from it. So people are moving you know, the, the spend from shopping uh, into Pmax. And everything else is, is pretty similar. You'd be surprised. Like Usually people are surprised that YouTube is such a small spend category for D2C uh, advertisers. It really depends um, which category you're in. Uh, but usually we find that YouTube is actually a small portion of, of the spend. Yeah, that's it. Um, you guys can email me, yardan at um, if you have any questions. And hope you try Veros.